I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. Also, I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals. I am on a mission to help 1 lakh healthcare professionals to attain financial security through career into clinical research industry. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video, I will be uh, breaking down steps for you uh, on how you can look for a job inside clinical research industry. And uh, main thing is not just to look for a job, how you can start. Okay. So if you are a life science graduate, BSc, MSc, geology, botany, microbiology, uh, nursing graduate, physiotherapist, biotechnology, B.Tech, M.Tech, uh, all dentist, B.D.S, M.D.S, alternate medicine graduate, B.A.M.S, B.A.H.M.S and M.B.B.S, M.D or even just M.B.B.S also. So if you are any one of this and if you are looking for you know how you can work inside clinical research industry what should be your first step or what should steps you should be following to land up a job that i'm going to crack those steps i'm going to crack in this video okay so before this if you don't know or if you are really not aware of what is clinical research in the industry exactly what kind of work is there for a healthcare professional or life science graduate or any other you know pharmacy graduate or dentist or how much is the growth part what is the salary structure how can you start about basically if you don't know if you are not clear about the field and if you want clarity on the field like are you suitable candidate for this field or not what the field is about then for that uh, I would invite you to join my masterclass which I take regularly on a regular basis and you can check the description you can check for the link for those classes in the description uh, in this description links are given so you can join our masterclass there is a separate link for MBBS uh, MD people and uh, non MBBS non MBBS rest all others life science graduates biotechnology microbiologist all dentist physiotherapist alternate medicine graduate okay so i will now i am going to break down break down the steps for you so now when you are aware about the field aware about growth scope opportunity everything and now if you feel that this is the field where you should start working then uh, let me give you the steps one by one okay so total five st steps i will be giving you so step number one is once you are clear that you can work inside clinical research industry, you can grow and yes, this field is for you. If you are clear on this, if you are very much, you know, focused on this to get job inside clinical research industry. So first step is gather information about the subject means if you are you know, looking for job into clinical research operations or pharmacovigilance or data management or medical writing or regulatory affairs whatever the verticals of clinical research fields are there gather information about these topics these fields whatever you are looking for job okay so lot many information is there no need to say from where you have to do google is the master okay you can google the things you can ask your colleagues you can ask your uh, any college friend who is in company you can ask anyone okay or you can google also the things okay but definitely see when you google anything google is like they will tell you each and everything about that specific topic but just to clear interview or just to get into job see your main focus is to get job you don't have to do any phd or thesis on clinical research right you already did a big degree already you took a big degree with lot of investment right so you don't want to go further for lengthy studies first focus is to get a job so whatever is relevant just to clear the interviews for job go with that information only otherwise you will get more confused and then there will be no result maybe you will get or uh, get to know all the things about clinical research industry but may not necessary that you will be able to clear the interview 
okay and if you are confused what to read what, how much to read what to answer from where to look for the things in that case you can take professional help means you can take any any course certification course or diploma course and if you are someone who is looking for any you know course related information or any diploma sort of thing in clinical research pharmacovigilance and medical writing you can always connect with us and uh, you can write us to the mail id we have provided in the description for course related queries so first thing is gather the information the subject knowledge required to get into job Second point update your resume now this is very important point i would suggest you whatever knowledge you got through google also even if it's not a formal way or not any certificate then also please write those points in your resume okay and if you are going for some certification then it's all well and good then you can very well write in the resume why i'm saying to write in resume because see at a very fresher level in any field there is a cutthroat competition understand this guys because see suppose in any company let's say two openings are there for which 200 people are applying so definitely there should be some added value in your resume which will make you you know outstand in crowd otherwise you are like another person sitting in you know line right so definitely here there should be some value addition in your resume through any way right if you take any online certification or diploma or if you are you know just exploring or doing research on your own also then also you just add the things in resume and if you are a person from clinical background let's say you are a physiotherapist or dentist or mbbs md also or maybe nursing graduates don't write too much about your clinical stuff For example if i talk about a dentist don't write you did 100 extraction you did scaling in 1000 patient no one is bothered see if you are looking for a job inside corporate non clinical sector who are hiring you because of your degree not because of your clinical experience then in that case no need to write so much about your you know clinical experience you can just mention in one line it should be one liner like let's say you practiced clinical dentistry for 5 years just mention the years and where you work that's all no need to mention the process procedures like rct deep scaling no no cosmetic dentistry nothing to write but uh, if you have taken some additional certification that you can write or maybe if there is any post graduate maybe md is they do some thesis work research paper work those kind of things you can add that will add value to your resume and regarding resume please don't unnecessarily increase the length of cv because to go through fresher cv is itself a big task if your cv is very lengthy at the first step only you are not going to select okay so make it as simple as possible short precise up to point no here and there to the point cv just black and white no multi color fonts okay it's not any 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 marriage card thing or any like it's your resume so it should be as simple as possible okay so this is about resume you updated resume as per whatever knowledge you gathered through internet or through certification add those point also into your resume third point is update your resume across various profile means Uh, upload it inside linkedin upload in nokri upload it in indeed and other nokri profiles definitely job sites are there you can upload there also so do that part fourth point please create linkedin profile if you don't have and if you have then please have a active engagement there okay not just for the sake of creating it do no see linkedin all works if you are working actively there so you should be making lot many connections with the people who are inside the industry with the people who who are of similar background similar educational background as you are okay so this should be your daily task okay so job if you are actively looking for a job it should not be like that once in a month or once in two weeks you are going to linkedin and searching scrolling if anything has come or not no it doesn't work this way because in this two weeks 
you did not visit to linkedin then definitely some post some job has already come people already applied they got job also so and you are not aware so to get a job you have to be active on a daily basis it should be a part of your daily routine okay if you are actively looking for job there should be no excuses in that that i i don't have data no network connection or i was away or even if you are some family function see everything is phone nowadays install app of linkedin install app of nokri install app of indeed every every application is there install it use it okay everything is so much handy nowadays that you know it's very easy actually but the thing like how much in in what way you are using it it matters okay because you never know like which recruiter which consultant is visiting your profile is sending dm to you let's say suppose in any company any opening is there and let's say in a day recruiter contacted around 10 people uh, the recruiter contacted the recruiter dm those 10 people and if you are someone who are not visiting your profile on a daily basis also then definitely you are going to miss it because other people are already ready they are already active so it's a cutthroat competition there also okay so be active on a daily basis little bit i will talk about nokri in indeed also now many people say that nothing is coming from nokri nothing is coming from indeed no nothing like that so something you have to do inside nokri indeed also there should be some keywords in your profile okay so that your shortlisting of your profile becomes high probability of shortlisting of your profile becomes high it is like you know when you are updating your profile on you know daily basis or maybe once in two days or three days then your you know ranking your ranking become good and when you are visible then only sh- uh, recruiter can shortlist your cv for interview right and last point is which is very important is see everyone has linkedin profile everyone has nokri profile everyone has indeed profile but again i'm saying just for the sake of having it no you have to be active there on a daily basis and if you are desperately looking for job actively looking for job again i'm saying it should be your daily task trust me guys it should be your daily task okay because there is really cutthroat competition everywhere and if you are you know even not not even a single day if you are missing for a day also maybe you are missing lot many vacancies okay so you have to be on your toes all the time if you are actively looking for job okay so i hope uh, i covered all the points in this and if you are someone who are who, are, who is still not able to figure out or maybe you, you are not still able to get get the things like how to go about it or if you are looking for some professional help in this step then please write us to the mail id which we have provided in the description for course related queries and definitely for other queries also if you are confused okay and to know more about clinical research uh, and the field uh, and if you are interested in joining the master class also uh, links are provided in the description below you can go through that also and you can join our master class yes uh, with this i am going to conclude this video once again i will just quickly break down the steps first have knowledge subject knowledge domain knowledge wherever you are going to third after gaining knowledge update those things into your resume and accordingly update your resume third upload your resume into various profile nokri indeed linkedin fourth linkedin profile if you don't have created if you have well and good be active there fifth be active on a daily basis on every job site and also in, uh, keep updating regularly indeed and nokri as well yeah so these are the five steps please follow this definitely if you are following these steps religiously for a one month also then it's my promise that if you are religiously following uh, following these steps at least you will get a interview call at least for sure in a month for sure trust me guys it's a guarantee okay 
and maybe not job i am saying at least you are getting interview call then also it's fine because see first step is to get a interview call to get a exposure of interview selection is like another step okay and one note i want to give especially to females who are with family responsibility and kids whenever they are thinking to start their journey into some non clinical sector or clinical research industry after a long gap or after a long career break what thing comes to their mind is like point z point z means before starting before taking a single step they will think that who will take care of their baby who will take care of their family see that is the last step that will require when you will having that job in your hand but before that the baby step the first step is to explore yeah explore figure out because when you will have job then we will plan z also not a big thing not a big issue okay not a major problem but before starting before taking the baby step if you are directly jumping into z and thinking about that only how did z z how i am going to fix this z then it will not work this way so leave about z leave that point first start with a then when you will uh, you will get interview call you will explore interview and then finally if you are getting job then we can figure out how to fix your family also or who who is going to take care of a baby also now nowadays every company has their crutches also in office every facility is there the only thing is you should come out of this excuse mind yeah and because where there is a will there is a way okay uh, so guys i am going to conclude this video now and please 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 subscribe to our channel if you like this video and we'll be coming very soon with some next fresh video till that time please stay safe healthy updated and focused thank you